dear students i hope that you are fine i am going to show you how you should collect the financial statement data uh, in the given uh, spreadsheet so you can see that the spreadsheet is already open in the window the company i have selected is uh, orion infusion limited okay so uh, let us try to see how to uh, key in the data at first go to co core dtls worksheet where you type in the a dsc code of the company uh, i think you already know the dsc code of your company i think you already know the dsc code of your company if you go to the uh, dhaka stock exchange website you can find it very easily let me find the code for orion infusion that i have chosen okay so i can select it from here copy and then paste and when you paste it uh only uh, paste only the text okay the name of the company you can also copy it from here copy from the same uh page of dhaka stock exchange website and then paste here and make sure that it is only text sector sometimes the sector of the company is uh, well known but still i would ask you to uh, confirm the sector so for that purpose you have to go to uh, dhaka stock exchange website and then you can see uh, in the left panel there is a link sector wise company list so if you go here then you will find which company is in which sector so uh, probably orion infusion is in the pharmaceuticals and chemical sector so i'm clicking here and trying to see if i get the name uh, name here yeah i can see that the orion infusion is in the pharmaceuticals and chemicals sector okay so uh, what you can do you can copy the name of the sector from here control c and then control v you can see the name is not here the reason is the font is in uh, white color so just make sure that you uh, paste uh, the text only then it will be okay okay then when was the company listed to find that again go to company listing and click on the link of the company name and if you go down on this page you will find other information of the company okay so you can see the listing year is 1994 okay so just type here 1994 category you find it in the same place market category a so type a okay uh, your semester your course code then your section click on the sfp worksheet that is for uh, that is th that worksheet is for uh, keying in the statement of financial position data which was Uh, which is traditionally known as balance sheet okay so let us go to the annual report of orion infusion and find the uh, statement of financial position you can see we have two years uh, information here 2013 14 and 2014 15 and you can see the year end is 30th of june 2015 okay so what you should do first is uh, you should type in the dates here you do not have to type anything uh, anything in the other areas because these are already copied from the previous um, worksheet so when you enter there it will automatically be copied in other worksheets okay so now the first thing you should do is to correct the date we can see here our latest date is 30th june 2015 so let us key in 30 slash june is the 6th month 6 slash 
2015 press enter then do the same for the previous year that means 30 slash 06 slash 14 okay select these two uh, cells consecutive cells and then drag to the right so you will get the other two dates 30th June of 13 30th June of 12 okay and and these uh, uh, these dates will also um, these dates will also be automatically copied to the other uh, worksheets you can see that we have uh, several items here assets equities and liabilities this is level one item under asset we will have several items level two and under level two item we may have specific items which are uh, specifically mentioned uh, but may vary uh, from company to company this is why these are kept empty uh, so that you can type in and remember that we have several you know non-current you can see so many non-current assets here but actually a company may have only two or three in rare cases it can be more than that okay so um, so if a company has only two non-current assets you will type in here here and here if it has two then you will type in here and here and then keep those empty okay uh, and the total will automatically be uh, done because it is already in the formula okay so let us do it for Orion Infusion in Orion Infusion's case uh, we can see we have two non-current assets property plant and equipment and investments so let us type in Remember the amounts must be in full amount, you know, do not do not omit any zeros or anything Okay, so it should be in taka and in full amounts So even if you find that in the balance sheet uh, or in any financial statement the amounts are uh, you know at the top It is written in thousands. So key in three zeros after the amount in that case So for the case of Orion infusion, we don't have to do that because these are already in full amount so you can see that the property plant and equipment are 336831683 Okay. Now investments are 1 2 3 363 0 2 5 Done. okay this company does not have any other non-current assets so our total non-current asset should be four six zero one nine four seven zero eight so at this point you have to check in the balance sheet four six zero one nine four seven zero eight four six zero one nine four seven zero eight that means you have keyed in the data properly so this uh, current uh, non-current asset uh, part is already done now let us go to current asset in current asset we have inventories accounts receivable and others advances deposits and prepayments cash and cash equivalents okay so let's go here and type six seven okay so we have um, keyed in the current asset items now let us let us look at the total current asset uh, which is uh, in here we can see two five nine five seven one six five eight and here the total current asset is 259 can you see yeah 259001 but here it is 571 that means something is wrong you know we have made a mistake somewhere so it is time to recheck and see the amounts and if you recheck you will see that instead of 7007 i have keyed in 7667 okay therefore i have to correct it okay now let's let us let me check again two five eight nine one one two five eight still there is a problem oh you can see that there is a problem here instead of typing six nine seven six eight i have typed 
six seven eight okay instead of seven six eight I have typed six seven eight okay so let me correct it now i think it's okay the total current asset is 259001 658 and total asset 7191961366 it completely matches with the annual report okay now uh, let us look at uh, common equity so in the common equity part we have uh, several items most of the companies will not have the preferred equity so uh, they may not mention uh, whether it is common or not okay um, so if there is no preferred equity all equities are actually common equity okay so here we have three items share capital return earnings and reserves so let us key in four one five So let us check whether the common equity is okay or not. One eight seven four six five zero seven nine. Okay. Now preferred equity. We don't have any preferred equity, so just keep it blank. Then let us proceed to current liabilities. We have non-current and current. So the let us key in the current liabilities items first. Provision for current tax. Now let us check if the total current liabilities are okay. Total current liabilities 484-598-484-598-795. Okay. Now non-current liabilities. Okay, so we can see that the total non-current liabilities uh, are 47132491. So let me check non current liabilities 47132492 is okay so now you can see that total liabilities and also total equities and liabilities all are calculated automatically you just need to check it with the original annual report okay so we can see total shareholders equity and liabilities 71919636 and it is not the same here Okay, so we must have a problem somewhere. 719196, only one dollar difference. Well, this one dollar difference may be uh, due to the you know decimal. Uh, probably they have done it in Excel and they have given the rounded, you know, it is showing the round figure, but maybe it has somewhere 0.5 or 0.3, whatever. Okay, so if the, if the difference is only for one dollar, or one taka then you don't need to be worried okay that is okay well so this was done for 2015 now you can do this uh, in the same manner for the previous year from this and all report and then take the previous one and do it for uh, and complete the 13 and 20 uh, 13 and 12 2012 okay then the uh, statement of financial position will be completed and follow the same procedure for uh, income statement you can see the format is already given so in item level 3 you will type in the uh, specific name that has been used by the company uh, under revenue under cost of sales uh, and under operating income or whatever you know so uh, key in those items and and you will find the final uh, amount here okay and you will have to enter the basic earning per share and diluted earning per share as is available in the income statement for statement of um, changes in equity and the statement of cash flows okay uh, if you have any problem uh, do not hesitate to contact me or see me in my office I will show you how to